In June, the Shamwa mothers have formed herds in the high altitudes. Between snow and rocks they're searching for food with their kids. The herd provides security for the animals. An enemy will certainly be recognized in time by one of the many animals. The kids with their funny woolly fur had to follow their mother in rough terrain shortly after birth. At the age of four weeks, they are no longer inferior to the adults in their climbing skills. The kids look quite funny. You can already guess the little horns on their head with the much too big ears. The kids follow their mothers everywhere. Although they are already skilled at climbing, they still need the protection and guidance of their parents. Like every young mammal they depend on their mothers when they are hungry. The kid knows where it needs to go. What looks quite rough is completely normal for the animals. The strong pushing stimulates the flow of milk. The kids are constantly thirsty. Every time the mother stops, they take advantage of it to see if there is something to drink for them. The snowfields are very attractive for the kids. They play excitedly in the snow. Jumping and sledding downhill are the most popular games. We soon realized the sense behind the kids' extensive play. The interception of falls and slips in the everyday life of a chamois is trained playfully by the young animals in the snow. Excited and full of energy, they learn the possibilities and limits of their movement skills and test abilities that are important in later life. The adults, which no longer need the playful learning, apparently release excess energy in some kind of dance. This wild spinning and hopping seems pointless, but it obviously gives the chamois tremendous fun. <laughs>